kitchen. Pay no attention to the fruit snacks in the back. My arrangement of teas and mugs here. My pride and joy. So today we're gonna to be talking about the thing that's been taking the internet and millennials by storm, the char car charcuterie. Charcuterie. It's French. Charcuterie, not charcuterie. So today we're gonna to be talking about the thing that's been taking the internet over by storm and millennials alike, the charcuterie board. By the end of this video, I'll be able to say charcuterie. So I uh, went to Publix. In the South, we have uh, grocery chains called Publix. I know in the North, you don't have those, but it's this great thing where everything's overpriced and you can find all of this cool stuff. I may have gone a little overboard. <laughs> it's possible. We'll start with the cheeses that I got. I got this smoked Gouda cheese. I'm covering up the price tag because I don't want you guys to know how much I spent on all of this. I got some, just some craft extra sharp cheddar. I don't, I just wanted something that was gonna have a little, little bit of a, of a salty, bittery cheese. And then I've got some brie. Now, let me know in the comments if you think this is a good combo of cheeses. I'm not a cheese connoisseur. And I've got this Genoa salami. So I'm gonna roll this up in the little charcuterie foldy thing. Some, some pepperoni, a, a spicier meat. And then I got some ham. I eat a lot of like fruit, like normally like berries and stuff. So I had blueberries. And then there was um, raspberries and blackberries on sale. Okay, I have like a good arrangement of fruits. And then I got a green apple for some sour and some green color on the charcuterie board. Yeah. Got two different kinds of breads. I got these non crisps, but these have um, spicy chili on them because I wanted to get something that had a little of a spice on it. I don't really have anything that's like a spreadable cheese or anything, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna work, but it's okay. I got this Melba toast. You know, put cheese on it, eat it. I don't know, I'm just trying to think. I don't know. This is my first time doing this. Fig preserves. Someone told me that I needed to get fig jam, but I got fig preserves. I hope that that's okay. I hope that's okay with everybody. Full of tender figs, but I don't, I'm not seeing full figs in here, but maybe it's just thick. Maybe, maybe she is thick. I've never been a big fan of fig, figs, fig, figs. I got the sweet stuff, because I wanted to put a little bit, a few sweet things there. I got some, some uh, praline pecans, 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 pecans. What do you say? Drop it in the comments. Do you say pecans or pecans? Pecans, 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 pecans. I have some of these uh, dark chocolate squares, these Ghirardelli dark chocolate squares. I'm gonna put on there too. And just see how it goes. I've never done this before. Just start with the jar stuff first. The marble cutting board that I'm going to use as my charcuterie board. I know that normally it's supposed to be like a wooden board. What's the origin story? So charcuterie is derived from the French word for flesh, char, and cooked, cootie. Anyway, we're just gonna go past that. The word was used to describe shops in the 15th century France that sold products that were made from pork, including the pig's internal organs. Yum, delicious. Place it in the corner, in the corner. See, cause that's what you're wanting it to look like. Like little, you want it to like, cause it looks like cute little folds. You just pick up each one. You don't want to fold. How do I make you do something I want you to do? Make it not just look like a pile of meat. Okay, we're folding, we're folding, and we're bending. We're bending, we're bending, we're folding. In theory, like I could have watched a YouTube video or something before this. It doesn't sound like me. Let's do this Gouda. I don't know how you're supposed to cut Gouda. It's a circle. Oh my God, she's thick. She is thick. Cheese, cheese. All right, we're gonna taste it. Let's do the pepperoni next. This is gonna be a video on what not to do if you're trying to make a charcuterie board. Cause I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, what do I do with this? This is salami. I love salami. Woo, it smells really good. More meat folding. Make it look like a beautiful Picasso painting. Seems like the first few like fold really well. And then after it, it like knows that you're trying to fold it, then it's like, no. I'd rather not. 
I'd rather be um, my own entity of what I was before you tried to put me in a charcuterie board. The French will never own me. Charcut, charcut, charcut. Next, I'm gonna do the sharp cheddar cheese. Here against the salami. This is the thing, I'm not good with like composition or anything when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to work, but you know what, we're trying. I feel like the pepperoni is so sad here. It's like slumping down. Gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, okay, look how cute. Melba biscuits toast, Melba toast. By the cheeses. By the cheeses. This is coming together. This is, this is happening. It's happening. It's coming together. Some of this apple, I think. Put the apple. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Look how like meticulous I am about this now. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute, y'all. It looks so cute. All right, I don't know what these crackers are gonna taste like. I hope they're not gross. I put it in the fridge. It's gonna be weirdly soggy. Let's cut up this brie. Look at her. She's in a little, a little sheath over me. Brie, over Brie. Harris, as you're editing this, you need to put only the interesting parts in it. I'll put everything in here, because it's all fascinating to me. Because it's me, and I love me. Like th that part, you probably should cut that out. This is actually turning out a lot better than anticipated, if I do say so myself. Invite me to your dinner parties, ladies and gentlemen, and I will bring this Shik, 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 bring this, bring the pain. Bring the pain. Let's put some fruit on here. It is here. Oh yes, darling. Beautiful, gorgeous. A bunch of raspberries in here. On this side. It looks so good. I'm so surprised. I'm constructing a masterpiece. to a southern bell when I'm excited. I tell you what, can praline nuts in there give us a little bit of a, a crunchy to crunch? Bye. See, that's where the ASMR charcuterie board will come in to play. Cheese, 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 cheese. I am so impressed with myself right now. You are not going to believe this when you see this. I hardly believe that I made it. Like, I'm almost like, if I wasn't here to witness it, dark chocolates. I'm just gonna place them here. I have completed the charcuterie board. Ready to see it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at that. Look at it. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, there's the money shot right there. What, 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 what? Look at it. I'm so proud of myself. For this charcuterie virgin, I think that I did a really great job. Now, there's definitely some things I could have done differently with it, with like the folding of the meats and stuff. I think that was like a little uh, tricky. There might be probably a technique I could have watched and like mastered that. But overall, I think that it is super beautiful. I'm so impressed. Can't believe that I was capable of doing it. So you can too. If you guys like stinky cheese, you can use stinky cheeses. I just don't like like, blue cheeses and stuff like that. If you guys don't already subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get a notification every single time that I post a new video, which could be about anything. I am super excited to drink my red wine and eat my cheeses and my spicy meats and my food scissors while I uh, watch Hannibal Lecter and he eats people. So you guys have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever it is that you are in the world. You're loved by me, and I will see you later. Bye, guys. No! Barry down! I'm sorry, Barry. I'm so sorry to have done that to you. I'm so sorry. I know that you have family at home. I know it. And right now I am doing a raffle for the month of December in my live stream on an app called Live It. So if you want to come in and check it out, you can win a bunch of goodies and some homemade goodies for me. It's not going to be a charcuterie board, but uh, gift cards, goodies, 
Some of my favorite things in the entire world are gonna be in this cute little Santa box. It's not filled with all of it because some of them I gotta make. But you know, come hang out. Let me know. It'd be chill.